Hello and welcome to Amazing Physics. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of microprocessors, exploring how they've evolved over time to become the powerful computing devices we know and rely on today. From the early days of vacuum tubes to the introduction of transistors and the birth of the microprocessor, we'll take a deep dive into the history of this essential technology. So sit back, relax, and join us on this exciting journey of discovery. Let's get started. The story of the evolution of microprocessors begins with a humble device called the vacuum tube. Developed in the early 1900s, vacuum tubes were used in early radios and amplifiers, and were the key component in the first electronic computers. Vacuum tubes had several limitations. They were bulky, fragile, and consumed a lot of power. This prompted scientists to look for a new technology that could revolutionize the world of computing. In 1947, John Bardeen, Walter Brattain and William Shockley at Bell Labs invented the transistor, a tiny electronic device that would change the course of history. Transistors were much smaller, more reliable, and consumed far less power than vacuum tubes. They quickly replaced vacuum tubes in most electronic devices, including computers. The first transistor-based computer, the TX0, was developed in 1956 at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and was followed by many other transistor-based computers, including the IBM 7090 and the DEC PDP-8. The invention of the transistor was a groundbreaking achievement that revolutionized the world of electronics. It enabled the creation of smaller, faster, and more powerful computers, and paved the way for the development of the microprocessor, the central component of modern computing. Microfabrication, which involves the use of photolithography and other techniques to create tiny structures on a microscopic scale, has played a key role in the development of these powerful microprocessors. Today, we rely on microprocessors in almost every aspect of our lives, from smartphones to cars and even home appliances. But it's the complex process of microfabrication that makes these tiny chips possible. So, next time you use your computer or smartphone, remember the incredible technology and innovation that goes into creating these powerful devices. These tiny chips have come a long way since their inception. Join us as we take a journey through the five generations of microprocessors and explore the incredible technology that has made it all possible. First Generation 4-Bit Microprocessors The first microprocessors were introduced in the early 1970s, and they were 4-bit microprocessors. These microprocessors were primarily used in calculators and other simple devices. The first commercially successful microprocessor was the Intel 4004, which was released in 1971. It had a clock speed of 740 kHz and could perform around 60,000 operations per second. These microprocessors had limited memory and lacked many of the features of later generations. These microprocessors were primarily used in calculators, simple electronic devices, and early gaming consoles. Compared to the vacuum tube-based computers that preceded them, the first generation of microprocessors were much smaller, more efficient, and more reliable. They laid the foundation for the development of smaller and more powerful computers that would become commonplace in the years to come. Second Generation 8-Bit Microprocessors The second generation of microprocessors, which were introduced in the late 1970s, were 8-bit microprocessors. The second generation of microprocessors played a pivotal role in the development of personal computers. The most popular 8-bit microprocessor of this generation was the Intel 8080, which was released in 1974. It had a clock speed of 2 MHz and could perform around 640,000 operations per second. These microprocessors had larger memory and could support more complex instructions. Microprocessors have a wide range of applications, including personal computers, gaming consoles, and electronic appliances such as microwave ovens and washing machines. Compared to the first generation of microprocessors, the second generation was much more powerful and capable of handling more complex tasks. With their larger address spaces, cache memory, and improved performance, they paved the way for the development of more advanced and capable computers. Third Generation 16-Bit Microprocessors The third generation of microprocessors, which were introduced in the early 1980s, were 16-bit microprocessors. These microprocessors were used in more advanced personal computers, gaming consoles, and other devices. The most popular 16-bit microprocessor of this generation was the Intel 80286, which was released in 1982. It had a clock speed of 6 MHz and could perform around 1.5 million operations per second. These microprocessors had even larger memory and were capable of multitasking. 
The third generation of microprocessors paved the way for a wide range of new applications and technologies, from personal computers to gaming consoles to industrial automation. Their increased performance and capabilities made it possible to create smaller and more powerful computers, which led to a revolution in the world of technology. Fourth generation 32-bit microprocessors The fourth generation of microprocessors, which were introduced in the early 1990s, were 32-bit microprocessors. These chips were also significantly smaller and more energy efficient than their predecessors. One of the key innovations of this generation was the introduction of RISC architecture, which allowed for faster and more efficient processing of instructions. These microprocessors were used in high-end personal computers, servers, and other advanced devices. The most popular 32-bit microprocessor of this generation was the Intel Pentium, which was released in 1993. It had a clock speed of 60 MHz and could perform around 100 million operations per second. These microprocessors had even larger memory and were capable of executing more complex instructions, including multimedia and graphics processing. The fourth generation of microprocessors also coincided with the rise of personal computing, as powerful and affordable computers became available to consumers. Chips like the Intel 486 and the Motorola 68040 were used in many popular personal computers of the time, like the IBM PS1 and the Apple Macintosh. The fourth generation of microprocessors enabled the development of a wide range of new applications and technologies, from video games to the internet to mobile computing. The increased processing power of these chips made it possible to create more sophisticated software, and the development of RISC architecture allowed for more efficient processing of instructions. This generation of microprocessors paved the way for the modern era of computing and technology that we know today. Fifth Generation 64-Bit Microprocessors The fifth generation of microprocessors, which were introduced in the early 2000s second, were 64-bit microprocessors and was characterized by the development of even more powerful and efficient processors that could handle increasingly complex tasks. These chips were also significantly smaller and more energy efficient than their predecessors. One of the key innovations of this generation was the introduction of parallel processing, which allowed for the simultaneous execution of multiple tasks and greatly increased processing power. The fifth generation of microprocessors also saw the introduction of new technologies like artificial intelligence and neural networks. These technologies enabled the development of intelligent systems that could learn and adapt to new situations. Ships like the Intel Pentium Pro and the AMD K5 were used in many powerful workstations and servers that were used for advanced scientific and engineering applications. The fifth generation of microprocessors also saw the development of more advanced mobile computing and embedded systems. Chips like the Intel Pentium M and the ARM Cortex-A series were used in many popular smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. These chips were designed to be small, energy-efficient, and highly integrated, making them ideal for use in mobile and embedded systems. One of the key developments of the fifth generation of microprocessors was the introduction of the Pentium processor in 1995. This was one of the first 64-bit processors with clock speeds ranging from 1.2 GHz to 3 GHz. It had 291 million transistors and 64 KB instructions per second, making it significantly more powerful than previous generations. Following the Pentium processor were the i3, i5, and i7 microprocessors, which were released in 2007, 2009, and 2010, respectively. These chips continued to build on the advancements of the Pentium processor with faster clock speeds, more cores, and improved energy efficiency. The fifth generation of microprocessors enabled the development of a wide range of new applications and technologies, from advanced scientific simulations to powerful mobile devices. The increased processing power of these chips made it possible to create more sophisticated software, and the introduction of parallel processing and artificial intelligence enabled the development of new types of intelligent systems. This generation of microprocessors laid the groundwork for many of the advanced technologies that we use today, from self-driving cars to virtual assistants. So what's next for microprocessors? One exciting area of development is quantum computing, which promises to revolutionize the way we process information. Unlike classical microprocessors, which use bits to store and process information, quantum processors use quantum bits or qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum processors to solve complex problems much faster than classical processors. As microprocessors continue to evolve, one thing is certain, the future will be full of surprises and new possibilities. 
we may see advances in areas like neuromorphic computing, which mimics the way the human brain processes information, or the development of even more powerful quantum processors. The possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the generations of microprocessors. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the incredible evolution of these tiny but powerful chips and the many ways they have transformed our world. If you found this video informative and interesting, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Amazing Physics for more amazing content on science and technology. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Amazing Physics.